Hey guys, this is Cheryl Howard, Inspiration and Transformation Strategist and Speaker. Yes, I am back with a Monday Inspiration. I'm trying to do them one to two times a month, but I thought it'd be good to come on because I always like to talk about things that kind of help us live a less stressful life, stay organized as much as possible because there's a lot of chaos that goes on around us. But today I want to talk about First of all, doing what you have to do to stay focused on your 2020 vision. If you have a 2020 vision or just some new goals and overarching goals that you want to achieve and you want to work towards and you want to stay focused, you can stay inspired by keeping that before you, whether you have a vision board or you have a journal or you have a notepad. You men, you may have that notepad out. You don't want to call it a journal, but men keep journals too. Um, and will you write down all of your goals and, and the steps to get there? And so it, it's inspiring to me that I write down or just keep in my mind what I want to do, what I'm working towards, and then writing down all of the necessary steps I need to get there because that's inspiring and it keeps me motivated. And so I know to keep you motivated if you use it as a tool of support. You look at it's like an assistant, right? Your calendar, whether you use... Um, online calendars like google calendar or there's some other calendars um, outlook calendar whatever where you can just put down everything all of your steps towards um, achieving that goal getting to closer towards that purpose whatever you're trying to manifest and work on um do that so that way you, each day or every other day you can kind of look at it and say okay where am i now and what i need to work on next and then look back at the little steps that you have taken already and get inspired by that because you can say, you know what, I'm getting closer. I've done something. That makes you feel good. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. Like, if I don't get this done by this week, don't do that because, you you know, things happen and you might forget to do something. But at least you still have it written down and you can say, okay, I didn't get to do it on Wednesday, but I'm going to do it on Friday, you know, so and then another way to kind of help you manage your time and your responsibilities and stay focused on your goal is just writing down your daily tasks, not even um, related to that goal or purpose. Now we just talk about your personal life or your business or career and your responsibilities within the home or whatever the things you have to do running errands, write it down. It helps me out. Because I need that, especially now I'm like, oh my gosh, I have, I may have like five things I want to do. And if I don't write it down or something, I may forget about it. I may leave out something. Like I said, if I. Get to today, I'll get to tomorrow, but at least I have it written down. So yeah, sometimes you even forget after you write it down, but it's better than not having anything. So I just believe we all should take an effort towards doing better personal growth, career growth, whatever, professional. And so that also helps you to stay organized. And I believe because you're prioritizing your day or your week, I believe it decreases the level of stress because you've done something to help. It's like supportive tools that you use. You know, don't try to be all do, you know, some, and as we get older, sometimes, not everybody, but sometimes we kind of Forget a little bit here and there. And I used to hear that growing up, like when you start having children too, like, oh, and I did experience it, like, oh my God, because there's so many things that you have to do. It's not just you anymore. Now it's you and another person. <laughs> and so you definitely want to do what you have to do to kind of keep you on point as much as possible. I'm just trying to live a stress-free life as much as possible. Yes, we have everyday stress that we have. That's part of, that's part of living, you know, getting up, doing things we need to do. That's a healthy stress. But it's, when it becomes a negative stress is when you become, are you always in a state of being overwhelmed or anxious, you know, or you feel like you're chaotic. And so you need to do what you have to do to kind of decrease and delete all of that out of your life. So I believe those things are important to do. Keeping, uh, jotting down and keeping a note, keeping a list, all of that is good. Lists, journals notepads even if you have to use your phone i use my phone to write down like the things that i have to do each day or for the week if i already know what i'm going to do for the week i'll write those things down so um that way it kind of keeps me in check and i can look at it and go okay i need to do this i need to take care of that like i said we don't hit it always 100 percent, but you gotta do something different especially if you want to change things you feel like you know i need to get more um, organized this year. That can be your 2020 vision. I'm going to be more organized. Like for me, myself, I got a whole bunch of papers and letters that I just need to shred. And the bad thing is I have a shredder, <laughs> but when I come home, sometimes I'm like, 
that's the last thing I'm thinking about. Going through these letters, a lot of them I can just trash and throw out. I just need to sit down and do that. So I call that my little hoarding situation. <laughs> I have in a corner a box and I got to go through these papers. I'm like, ah, oh. so I'll have chaos. Or what you call it, organized chaos? Because <laughs> even that, I have kind of organized in a sense, but it's chaos because, okay, sure, we need to throw them out now. It's like, get rid of these things. They don't even apply anymore. You're in a whole new year, decade, beginning a new decade. So I need to go through all of that stuff. But um, I just know that, you know, doing all of the things that keep me organized as much as possible, it really helps me because now I'm trying to grow businesses on the side and then work with my clients and all these things. And I'm like, I got to have a system. You got to have a system. Even as a family person running a household, you got to have a system. I do parent coaching as well. So this is one of the things that I do. Um, I help parents, um, especially moms, learn how to organize their household to set some kind of structure. Like I said, so you won't go crazy and lose it and be out of order. And then you just feel so overwhelmed. And so you got to have some kind of system, some kind of structure and get the kids in line with it and teach them. You can teach them from young. Just like we teach our children how to, you know, get on the schedule with napping and sleeping and everything else and feeding time and all of that. Um, they learn at an early age to have some kind of structure and discipline. But see, you help them later on as an adult because they have a more disciplined and structured life. They're not all over the place with everything. Sometimes we get all over the place with some things, we humans. But they have a foundation where they learn that, okay, there's a such thing called prioritization, organization structure, discipline <laughs> is going to help them in every area of their life, work, school, business, career, entrepreneurship, whatever it is that they're doing, they have a, something to refer to because you've taught them that this is important in life. So you don't want to be just wondering and just, you know, lackadaisical or don't know what's going on or just always, you know, tardy, you know, never on time with anything. It can, if you don't learn structure and discipline, your life can be chaotic. <laughs> it really can be. So it's important that we teach them why they're young. And if we have to be the model, sometimes we don't, we didn't have maybe the structure and discipline growing up, but we can learn it and we can teach our children the same thing. So it applies to everybody. <laughs> anyway, I want you to focus on your 2020 vision, your goal, set some goals. Um, it don't have to be related to work or professionalism or anything like that. It can be personal goals. It can be fitness, health, um, self-care, more recreational and leisure activities that you're going to implement into your life, that you're going to engage in, more traveling, more connecting with family and friends and all of that stuff. You know, um, that can be your goal as well. Treating yourself good, being good to yourself, that's a goal as well. Because maybe you don't, maybe you're good to everybody else, or you pour out to everybody else, but you forget to feed your spirit, to feed your soul, feed your mind, so your soul can be happy. I actually have a video called Soul Happy Activities, so look for that on YouTube as well. But I thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was some kind of help to somebody out there <laughs> in the internet streets um, to help you. Um, do something different. Do something new that's going to help you. Bring empowerment. Bring a feeling of self-control. Uh, less stress in your life because you've learned to organize things in your life and you learn how to compartmentalize what needs to be compartmentalized. This go here, this go here, and this go there. <laughs> and then you decide what's priority in your life and you stick to that as much as possible. Leave Giving yourself grace because you have to leave room for if everything don't turn out the way you want it to or if you didn't get to accomplish this on this day, okay, I'll do it then. And it, so add the self-talk in there. Add the self-talk therapeutic, empowering thoughts and, and, and words and language. So that way you won't beat yourself up as well. Go, gosh, I didn't get to do that. Okay, you can say that, but say, you know what? I got to get back to that. I, I'm going to work on that. That's it. Don't get into defeating, feeling like, oh gosh, it's, ugh, I didn't get to it. And you can self-talk yourself into a whole nother zone that you don't need to go to. So anyway, you be blessed. Follow me on YouTube, SoundCloud, Apple Podcasts, 
And this may be an audio version. I'm thinking about it. I'm going to see if I'm going to have this on audio as well. And if so, please subscribe to my pod, audio podcast on Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, and as well here, right here on YouTube, where you get to watch it live. Well, it was it's live, but you get to watch it anyway. And I just want to be a blessing to you. I pray you have a wonderful day. I pray you walk in love. I pray you have a productive day. Opportunities open up. You operate in your best you operate in your passions your gifts everything that you have that you possess that you get to live that out in this earth now <laughs> and i will see you so oh i did want to say i do have a goal planning a yearly goal planning calendar so if you want that you can download it as a digital um tool you can use to um put all your steps towards your goal in there or your task whatever and that is more task is more goal oriented. Let's just say that throughout the year. And but you can start weekly where you can list each day things that you want to work toward. So if you want that, DM me. I'm on Twitter, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Pinterest. On Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, look for Cheryl, get your life back. Um, YouTube, Cheryl Howard, get your life back. Instagram, Cheryl dot get your life back. Twitter get your life back, but it's B-A-K, not B-A-C-K on Twitter. That is every place else back is spelled right. And Facebook, you'll find me out there in the internet streets. Anyway, you be blessed. Take care. Bye-bye.